Can an Alaskan Malamute kill a wolf? The Alaskan Malamute is a noble animal that is loyal and utterly devoted to its pack, human and animal. There is no denying the strength and stamina of this breed, and many owners believe, that their Malamute, Mal for short, can take on any comers. Can an Alaskan Malamute kill a wolf? It depends. If the battle was one on one, a Malamute could take on a lone wolf to protect her pack. But wolves are pack animals. If you see one wolf, the odds are good that there are others nearby. Unfortunately, a single Alaskan Malamute is usually no match for a pack of wolves. This video explores the similarities and differences between Malamutes and wolves. We give some personal insights to help owners understand how males think and how owners can relate better to their Malamutes. And, as a result, improve communication and understanding. Similarities between wolves and Alaskan Malamutes Wolves and Malamutes are quite similar in appearance. In fact, one of the most common questions Alaskan Malamute owners are asked while out walking their dogs happens to be, is that a wolf? The one difference some will say is that the Malamute, built for both brawn and stamina, are often a little bulkier than the leaner wolf. Similar look. They have similar facial markings. Both animals have perky ears and highly intelligent eyes. Height and weight. When it comes to Alaskan Malamute versus wolf size, they are still very similar without a clearly defined winner on the other side. The Alaskan Malamute stands between 23 and 25 inches tall. The Grey Wolf stands between 31 and 33 inches in height. As far as weight goes, the Grey Wolf weighs between 82 and 88 pounds, and the Alaskan Malamute weighs between 75 and 85 pounds. The Wolf grows much taller, but weighs almost the same, making them appear much leaner when standing side by side. Color There are many different colors within the wolf family, depending on the pack location and specific breed. There is also variation among the Alaskan Malamute's coats and colors. For instance, our Mal Kari had a beautiful light and dark gray coat with a few hints of brown. She weighed in at approximately 85 pounds in the prime of her life, a little heavy for the average female, but she was all muscle. All muscle. That's another similarity between the breeds. Even though wolves are leaner, what bulk they do have is all muscle. Wolves don't have humans to feed them. They work hard for their food, and they work together with other pack members to secure the food and make sure that all pack members are fed. Malamutes are bulky animals, built to pull heavy loads across the frozen tundra. Males have incredible strength and stamina that makes this possible. This stamina will make the most difference in a fight with wolves because they are matched when it comes to strength and cunning. Protective Instinct The other difference maker rests on why they are fighting. Wolves protect the pack, especially the young. The same holds true for Malamutes. If wolves are hunting for food and the Malamute is protecting its pack, even human children, the wolf may not be as committed to the fight. But, if the wolf is protecting its pack, it will fight to the death, creating a much more difficult battle for the Alaskan Malamute. Vocalizations Another similarity between the Alaskan Malamute and the wolf is in the vocalizations. Males aren't big barkers. In fact, I don't remember Carrie barking a single time. She would, however, talk to us and did on a couple of occasions, very rarely, though, how? It was a mournful sound, similar to that of a wolf. And if ever left outside in the rain, she would stand by the door and yip to come inside. As much as she loved playing in the snow, she hated the rain. Behavior Other similarities between the two animals are identified by behavior. Both animals are pack animals that are fiercely devoted to their packs. The difference for the well-domesticated Alaskan Malamute is that it gladly welcomes humans into the pack. Yet, humans must establish themselves as top dogs in this pack by earning the Malamute's respect. Malamutes also have a prey drive similar to that of wolves by nature. Carrie was always bringing me prizes, such as squirrels and possums she stalked on her nightly romps. 
wolves are quite playful creatures within their packs and familiar surroundings. Just as mouths are when at home with their families. I hope you found what you were looking for and found this video helpful. To learn a ton more helpful stuff similar to this video, be sure to check out my others video about dogs. Thanks so much for watching. So what do you think let us know below, you want to check out this video about another dog breeds you might want, smash the subscribe button if you love videos about dogs I have a lot more coming and as always catch you next time.